So Acheron was teased on Honkai Star Rail's Twitter account and other outlets yesterday, meaning that she will be coming out soon as a playable character. And I, as imaginary watcher, couldn't just let this slide and I had to make a video about her and my impressions, thoughts and predictions for her character and story. Not we will not be covering any leaked content because the gameplay of this game isn't really my cup of tea, so I'd rather just talk about the lore, design and what I think we should be expecting to see from Acheron as a character in game. And don't worry guys, the promised video about the Shienzo Lofu is still being worked on. I finished the arc and I have a lot to say about it, but I wanted to talk about Acheron first before I get to that. So without any further ado, let's talk about this Galaxy Ranger. Right off the bat, and I think anyone who played another uh, Hoyoverse game such as Honkai Impact, GGZ, or Genshin already knows Acheron is Honkai Star Rail's version of Raiden Mei, or to you, my dear little kin, shits, Raiden A or Shogun. The Japanese VA is unmistakable, the character design screams it, it's so obvious so it's just get it out of the way. Acheron, or Yomi in the Japanese dub's design, is heavily inspired by Honkai Impact Striker Fulminata battlesuit for Raiden Mei, and her sword is literally the same as the big Hersher katana Hersher of Thunder Mei uses, just color palette swapped from red to purple. Her eyes look like those of Hersher of Thunder, and the quote Hoyovers used in the Twitter post they made about her mentions her using lightning. So it is safe to say that they're not even trying to hide where they're drawing inspiration from. There is also one funny little thing that caught my attention, which is the name Acheron. It was used once before in the Honkai history, and it wasn't for a character, but for a weapon. Path to Acheron is a sight weapon in Honkai Impact. It is the signature weapon for Stele Voleri's battlesuit Sijun Nim. It shares the same color palette with the character Acheron, so I think there is some correlation there. With nothing to write home about. From her demeanor and the way she speaks and carries herself, as well as the Twitter quote again, we can tell that she's a serious person who saw and been through some shit. And since every recurring character from Honkai Impact in this game is very similar in terms of background to the original. For example, Sele in Honkai Star Rail is what Red Sele from Honkai Impact would be if she wasn't stuck in the Sea of Quanta for years. And of course, they both share the orphanage story, blah blah blah. Same with Bronia, and to some extent Sushan. So it's safe to assume that Galaxy Ranger Acheron will be similar yet different from Honkai Impact's Mei one way or the other in terms of lore too. But how can we speculate based solely on that? Well, a line in the Twitter post caught my attention and my blood detection radar started to beep. You see this line right here? Long voyagers in the cosmos are driven by two desires, to trade in the trails of the past, or to forge their way, their own way. But under their scrutiny, most end up adhering to the former. This seems awfully familiar to me as a Honkai Impact player, because Mei isn't really a stranger to digging deep in the trails of the past. In fact, she has like 4 chapters where she does just that. Enter a simulated world to dig into the past to find out the truth behind the Honkai. There she meets legendary figures from the bygone age and Pink Jesus, that's besides the point. What I want to focus on here is Mei herself. When she was going through that experience, she wasn't being her usual self. She was going through what can only be described as Sasuke things. She left her friend behind, worked for their rivals in order to save them. She also turned colder and steeled herself to face her worst fears. Gaining mastery over her Hersher of Thunder powers gave her the strength needed to proceed on that path and fulfill her goal. So how does this relate to Akira? Let's take a look at some Galaxy Ranger lore and I'll tell you. I myself have never encountered this lore in game because, I'll be honest to say it, this game is garbage as including the history and general worldview in its main quests. I didn't even know Herta was an emanator until someone commented on one of my posts. But I digress. 
Galaxy Rangers. Let's stay on point. On the wiki, it says that they are a group who admire Lan, the Aeon of the Hunt, and strive to uphold justice no matter what, even if violence is required. They gained their reputation through assassinating a Lord Ravager called Zulu, through guiding the swarm towards his fleet of pirates and bandits. Then, protecting a tree or a forest? I, I don't know, there is no other mention of this thousand tree greenwood anywhere except during this incident. But hey, they protected it from a Doctor Primitive, who is also a member of the Genius Society, who seems to exist just to collide with the Rangers and be in the Moriarty of Star Rail apparently. The Rangers thwarted his plans, and shortly after it is said that they were brought down and dispersed due to his revenge. Now that we know about this, I will start telling the story that I think we'll be getting for Acheron. Let's say that she was a part of the Galaxy Rangers who guided the swarm into Zulu's ships. And that was her naive faith. I mean to achieve justice no matter what and when. Then, when they started colliding with Dr. Primitive, and they started losing members, and realizing how difficult it is to actually uphold such an ideal, she started doubting herself alongside other members of the Galaxy Rangers. Even though they succeeded in stopping Primitive's plans, the cost was too great. Perhaps she had to slay a friend or a family member because of Primitive's revenge, and the casualties were far too great. The Galaxy Rangers dispersed due to low morale, and those who stayed were too few to be of any significance. So, they spread across the universe, taking their burdens to spread justice under any circumstance with them on their journey. Acheron, still mourning the loss of her comrades, swore to never use her blade again unless absolutely necessary to spread justice. For her personality, I expect her to be cold, calculating, serious for most of the time, which is emptily sarcastic when confronted about herself. In conclusion, I think Acheron will appear to be quite the interesting character, simply because I don't think Hoyoverse can bear to butcher her after the mounting of weight she needs to carry due to her predecessors who inspired her. And yes, I know she's a Nihility character despite the lore saying she should be the Hunt, and I am still mad about them making lore for characters then not capitalizing on it to implement it into gameplay, but hey. What can we do? What are your thoughts on Acheron? Did you like my interpretation of her character and backstory? Tell me down in the comment section below. I am Imaginary Watcher, and I'll see you around. Come with me, take the journey.